Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making an awesome raspberry brie grilled cheese. This sandwich has it all. It's melty, cheesy, fruity, crunchy, and absolutely delicious. Let me show you how to make it. You'll need about eight ounces of brie for two sandwiches, so you can buy a small package like this, or you can go for the larger triangle version like I have here. You should cut the cheese into thick slices about a half an inch in thickness, and all you really need to do is cut them in the size and shape that will fit on your bread. Yeah, so it's not rocket science. Just slice them so there's enough to fill the size of your bread, just like you see here. Once you slice your brie, you should spread a thin layer of softened butter on one side of each slice of bread. I'm using good quality sourdough for this, and you really need to use a good quality bread for this sandwich. After the bread is lightly buttered, we're going to turn the pieces buttered side down and lay the slices of brie on the bread like you see here. Next, I'm using raspberry preserves for this, and I'm going with Smucker's, my childhood favorite, and you can use as much or as little as you want here. I found that a teaspoon or two was enough, and you'll just spread it out evenly across the bread. And I know you already know how to do this. Next, we'll put the top on here like this. Then set it aside and repeat the process with the other sandwich. Buttered side down, add the brie, spread your preserves, put the top on, and it's done. And now we're ready to start cooking. I heated a little olive oil in a pan because I didn't want an all butter flavor on the outside. And I spread it around like you see here. Gently place the sandwiches in the pan and then just let them cook a few minutes on low to medium heat until they're golden brown and crispy. Then, very carefully, turn each sandwich over and cook another few minutes until golden brown and crispy on the other side as well. And here's our melty, cheesy, fruity, crunchy, and absolutely delicious raspberry brie grilled cheese sandwiches. All you gotta do now is cut them in half and enjoy. You can eat these on their own, of course, or you can prepare a light salad on the side as well. And now it is definitely time to eat the bite. And I'll leave you with my live commentary of tasting this gourmet sandwich. Thanks for watching. I don't know which one I want to eat. Oh boy, they're all oozy and yummy and awesome. So, uh, this one I think I have to. Here's our raspberry pre grilled cheese. Oh, it's kind of hot, but I'm doing it anyway. Mmm, oh, it's dripping with cheese. I, I can't think of a better fantasy to live out in life on something that's dripping in cheese. Mm, mm. Oh. Mm, gotta have your napkins ready for this one, guys. So as you can see, cheese is the name of the game. Oh my god. This is such a delicious treat. Mm. I have not eaten breakfast, and this is the perfect breakfast at 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> This is a great dinner. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner for two. Yeah. I love it. If you don't want cheese on your hands, then you should not make this sandwich. Mm -hmm. I can lick my fingers. I'm eating my own sandwich. Leave me alone. Look. Brie is incredible, brie and fruit is even more incredible, and brie and fruit and toasty bread is as a trifecta, if you will. Mm. Mm. This is absolutely outstanding. It's even better than when I did the test recipe. Mm. Mm. You gotta use good quality bread for this. Let me just give you my bread speech. Get on my bread box, not my soapbox, my bread box, and say, it tastes awesome on sourdough bread. You cannot use Wonder Bread, so don't even try. Just go away right now if you think you're going to put this on Wonder Bread. Um, it's got to be good quality bread. Oh, here's my bread right here. Hold on. I've got, if you live in New England, oh, crap. <laughs> Easy. You need to use quality, good quality bread for this, and when pigs fly, it's made in Maine. They've got distribution all over New England, I think. So if you can get this awesome bread, please use it for your sandwich. If not, they have a, again, Neshoba Brook Bakery, which is in West Concord, Massachusetts, has bread, um, like sliced French bread, which is delicious. That would be perfect for this as well. Um, but please use good quality bread. Get a good quality sourdough at your grocery store or your local bakery, okay? There, I'm done. My bread speech is over. 
This melty, cheesy, fruity, crunchy sandwich is absolutely to die for. And you can serve it with a little side salad, you'll see it in the pictures. And I highly recommend you give it a try. Last bite, going in. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm.